Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, we are going to take another fresh and interesting new topic that is logarithm. And what we are going to learn first is how to evaluate logarithm function. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student, will be able to write the loss of logarithm. And the number two, you also be able to evaluate logarithms of numbers without using them. These are the things I hope my dear student will be able to do after completing the very lesson today. So as you tell my dear student in your favorite segment of the lesson that is most expanded today, I'm happy to give you another amazing, another interesting number. This number is 82,000. I will explain what is amazing about this very number after completing my lesson today, so don't go away. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let us learn the laws of logarithms. It is this loss in conjunction with the properties of logarithm which we have learned in our previous lesson that we now used as a tool while evaluating logarithm functions. So let us learn it the loss. So it says if you have x and a and m as positive real numbers with x not equals to 1. Law number 1 says if you have logarithm to be x of n times m, n and m are real numbers. So that logarithm it says is equals to two. logarithm to base x of n plus logarithm to base x of m. That is, if you have a number which can be separated as product of two other numbers, and where to find it is logarithm. So that logarithm of that very number is equals to two. the logarithm to the same base of the very first factor plus the logarithm to the same base of the second factor. That is the two numbers you multiply to get that very number. This is it. So logarithm to base x of n times m is equal to logarithm to base x of n plus logarithm to base x of m. Law number two says if you have logarithm to base x of n divided by m, that logarithm is equal to logarithm to the same base x of n n is the number you are dividing minus logarithm to base x of m these two laws are very very useful very very vital while simplifying and evaluating logarithmic functions so let's just move and take examples so example number one it says given that the log to base the term of 2 equals to 0 0.3010 and log to base 10 of 3 equals to 0 0.4771. And logarithm to base 10 of 7 equals to 0 0.8451. The question asked here is to find the value of the fluid without using a table. The question Roman 1 says log to base 10 of 420. And Roman 2, you have to find the value of log to base 10 of this number 5. The solution to this very problem. To find the logarithm of this 420 to base 10, what do you now do? Is to split this 420 using 2, 3, and 7 as the case may be. But what you now do, the splitting, you only use the multiplication and the division, or you can use the power. So you now split this 420, 420, either by multiplication or division, or both of these numbers, the 2, 3, and the 7, probably 10. So 420, you now have uh, 42 multiplied by 10. 42 multiplied by 10 gives you 420. Still 42, you have to split it further. So 42 split it further gives you, gives you 2 times to 21. So 42 is 2 times 21. And the 21, you now check uh, is logarithm of 21 given in the question no which means 21 you have to split it again so 21 is now equals to 3 times 7 this 3 times this 7 i copied my 2 i copied my 10 so you can see i have 2 3 7 like i have said we now split this 420 using 2 3 and 7 probably 10 so i'll continue so i have now four numbers multiplied it together to get this number 420 so what i'm going to do i have now used the law number one which says if you have product of the two numbers the logarithm of that product is now equals to logarithm of the very first number 
plus the logarithm of the second number, if there are more than two, plus logarithm of the third number, and so on. So there I'm going to now simulate this using that law to now set the logarithm to be the third of two, the first number, plus logarithm to be the third of this three, the second number, plus logarithm to be the third of this third number, seven, plus logarithm to be the ten of this ten, which is our fourth number. So what I'm going to do, I have log to be the of two is given there, 0 0.3010. 0. I have log to be the of three is given. I have log to be the of seven is given. So I'm just going to substitute. So let me do that. So I'm going to have 0 0.3010 as the logarithm of this two. Logarithm of this three is 0 0.4771. Look at it is given. Logarithm of this seven is 0 0.8451 is given also. And this log to be a of 10, it gives you one property of logarithm. So what I'm going to do now next is to now add these four values. The addition of this, if you don't correctly, gives you 2.6232. This is uh, the value of this logarithm of 420 without using without using table. So let me move to Roman two questions. Roman two questions, we asked to find the value of log to be the term of this number five. So I'll now check number five. Do I have it is logarithm in the question? I only have logarithm of three and logarithm of seven, which means I must find a way to pre expressing this number five using one or two of these numbers that I have their logarithm, including 10 because the base is 10. So this number five can now be written as. Uh, 10 divided by 2, but I can find the logarithm of 10 to base 10, and I have logarithm of this number 2. So I'm going to have log to base 10 of 10, that is the numerator, minus logarithm to base 10 of 2, that is your denominator. This is law number 2. So log to base 10 of 10, you know it is 1, and log to base 10 of 2 is given in the question 0 0.3010. So substituting there correctly, you now have 1 minus 0 0.3010. And subtracting 0 0.3010 from this very one gives you, gives you 0 0.6990. This will now be the logarithm of this number 5 to be z. So let's just move and take uh, another example. Example number 2 says, give, given that log to be z of 2 equals to 0 0.3010, and log to base the 10 of this number 3 also equals to 0 0.4771. The question asked here is to find the value without using a table of log to base 10 of 7.2. Solution to this very problem, what you do first is you now copy the given tax. That is, you have to find the logarithm to base 10 of this number 7.2. What you do first, if you have decimal, always change it to fraction. Change it to fraction. So I'm now going to have 72 changes. That is 7.2 changes to fraction. Will now give you 72 over 10. That is what you do first. 72 divided by 10. That is now equals to 7.2. So you now apply the second law here. That is you now have log to base 10 of 72 minus log to base 10 of 10. You see the 72. This logarithm is not known in the question here. So you have to split it. So I'll now split the 72. I'll keep splitting up to, I'll now split it to a smaller port portion that I can see 2 and 3 only. So 72 is nothing but 8 multiplied by 9. Then I copied my minus log to base 10 of 10. So I will now apply the first law here. That is if you have product of two numbers, there you can now set log to base 10 of 8. Plus log to base 10 of this number 9. Then I copied my minus log to base 10 of 10. This 8 and this number 9. Logarithm is not given, so I have to split each one further. So this number 8 can be 2 raised to the power of 3. That gives you 8. And this 9 can be 3 raised to the power of 2. So there I now apply the property that I have learned in my previous lesson. This number 3. This power 3, this power 3 will now come and become a multiplicative factor here. This power 2 also be become a multiplicative factor. Let me do that. So I'm going to have 3 times log to base 10 of 2. This 3 is what comes here to become a multiplicative factor. 
and this two also multiply this so you have two log to be instead of three then i copied my minus log to be instead of ten so what i'm now do if i check i have log two i have log three i have log ten so it's just a matter of substituting now so i'm going to have three times uh, instead of log to be instead of two i'll now put 0 0.3010 0, 0 instead let me do that so i'm going to have three times 0 0.3010 0, 0 plus uh, two times instead of log three i'll now have two times 0 0.4771 uh, then log to be instead of 10 gives me this one so i'll now do the multiplication before the addition so three times 0 0.3010 0, 0 gives you 0 0.9030 and 2 times 0 0.4771 gives you 0 0.9542 then copy the this minus one then you can now add and subtract if this is done correctly you now have 0 0.8572 this is now the value of log to be instead of this number 7.2 this is the end of this very lesson my dear student i hope you enjoy it and let me just move quickly to the last segment mercy is fun and i explain what is amazing about 82,000. let me just share with you what is special about this very number this number 82,000 it says it contains only one and the zeros when you convert this number to any base when you convert 82,000 to base 2 to base 3 to base 4 and so on to any base that you convert this 82,000 the result will only contains zeros and ones nothing more let's just start and see so 82,000 if i should convert this number to base 2 for example this is the result that i'm going to have seen this result the digits there is only zeros and ones this is exactly what is 82,000 from base the 10 to base the 2 similarly if you take the same number 82,000 and change it to base the 3 this is the result that you're going to have look at the result you can see in this result contains only zeros and ones let me also convert the same number to base 4 if you do that correctly this is what you're going to have uh, this number is the result of this 82,000 in base 4. But you can see in this number, is it is only zeros and ones that you can see there as digits. Let me just do one more. Convert this, the same number, to base 5. If you do it correctly, this is what you are going to have as your result. You can see in this result also, it contains only digits, zeros, and ones. So even if you continue base 6, base 7, base 8, I tell you, it is only numbers 0 and 1 that you have as uh, the digits in the result. This is really amazing. This is really interesting. We see more of these amazing things in mathematics in our subsequent lesson. Thank you for your attention.